Hello everyone, welcome to the upfront. It has been four years since the disaster caused by the corona lockdown, but the wounds remain fresh. The impact of corona was not only a severe blow to the health of the nation, but also a setback to the economy. The unplanned lockdown imposed by the government to control the spread of the virus pushed the country back by several years, exacerbating the economic damage already inflicted by the short-sighted demonetization policy. While the plight of the common people was severe, small business owners were driven to suicide in significant numbers. The lockdown claimed more lives than the virus itself as the poor were affected by hunger and unemployment than by the disease. Even as the government spent crores on vaccines, people were dying from the lack of food and jobs. After the pandemic, the government should have taken steps to assess the casualties and economic damage. Even if compensation for the victims wasn't possible, it was the government's duty to gather accurate statistics on the deaths caused by the lockdown and by the virus. Yet even today, the central government lacks clear data on these issues and has admitted in parliament that it does not have information about migrant workers who died during the lockdown. An international study revealed that 1.19 million additional deaths occurred in India in 2020 during the COVID pandemic which is nearly eight times higher than the official figures reported by the Indian government. This death toll is also one and a half times higher than the estimate by the World Health Organization. According to the research, one third of the globe COVID-related deaths occurred in India. It also indicated that the virus had a disproportionately severe impact on minority and oppressed communities, increasing their mortality rates. As usual, the government argued that the criteria used for the survey were incorrect. The Union Minister of Family Welfare dismissed the report as untenable and unacceptable and criticized it for its perceived flaws. Ironically, the government's figures on COVID deaths had previously been questioned by the United Nations, which stated that either the Indian government lacked accurate data or was concealing the true death toll. For the past decade, India has consistently objected to international studies. After the release of the Global Hunger Index, the Indian government questioned the criteria used. India has also dismissed international reports on poverty, health and democracy and even denied reports on freedom of expression and religious freedom. Recently, the government has adopted a simple strategy to address poverty by changing the criteria for determining it. As reflected in Niti Aayog's declaration of a decline in poverty, the government seems to find it easier to reduce the number of poor by altering definitions rather than addressing the root causes. When reports highlight the condition of India's social sectors, the government needs to understand that denying statistics or hiding facts will not lead to progress. If India wants to learn from the disasters caused by the corona, it must first have the courage to acknowledge the deaths and suffering. From January 1, 2020 to December 31, 2021, India officially reported 4,81,000 deaths due to COVID. However, the United Nations disputed this figure, suggesting that the actual death toll was 10 times higher. The virus which originated in China eventually spread worldwide. Although it reached India later, the virus became more virulent due to the government's ambivalent stances and the exploitation of hate politics in the name of the pandemic. While migrant workers died due to sudden lockdowns, others succumbed in hospitals due to inadequate facilities and lack of oxygen. 
Front page news often showed coffins lined up in the cemeteries and reports of hospitals being overwhelmed and crematoriums unable to keep up with the demand. Disturbing images of dogs dragging decaying bodies along the banks of Ganges also surfaced. Despite these harrowing scenes, the government tried to save face by flatly rejecting the UN's report on the death toll. India has already paid a heavy price for the government's irresponsibility in reporting COVID death statistics. While the standards used by the United Nations or the other international bodies may be questioned, the accuracy of the government's own standards must also be scrutinized. It is crucial to reform India's civil registration system and use new technologies to collect data from the hospitals on deaths and injuries during epidemics. The people of this country have the right to clear information about the casualties caused by the pandemic. Therefore, a specific question should be included in the next census. Did anyone in your household die due to corona pandemic in 2020? If yes, details such as age, gender and date of death should be recorded. Only then can accurate data on COVID deaths in India be obtained. That's all for today. If you like the content we provide, please subscribe to the Upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates. Please share our videos and educate others. Thank you.